to better position himself on the ground. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. One of the best fighters on this UFC roster to never realize a UFC championship entered Joseph Benavidez, 25 and four, and a guy who has only lost to all-time greats. This is a Southpaw born in Las Cruces, New Mexico, who can do it all. Joe Jitsu making the walk tonight. Joseph Benavidez has devastating striking, outstanding wrestling, and he has one of the best lighter weight training camps in the world today. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Highweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 16 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, Tim Elliott! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Joseph, Joe B. Montgomery, Benavidez! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Go, first round. You ready? Are you ready? First and we are underway. <laughs> Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. They're going after it quick here. Elliott gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He got tagged there. Watch the shot here, Joe. Look at that jab. Nice. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. And he doesn't get it. It was a single attempt. Benavidez gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh! <laughs> nice punch there by Kim Elliott. Benavidez gets hit by that leg kick. No! He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Look at this. Take down. Under three minutes to go in round one. He's posturing up here. Oh, there's that elbow. Covering up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Tim Elliott. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. 
Tries to pass, but can't. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Excellent movement here on the ground. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice right hand to the body. Now a level change. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Oh, he gets reversed. He moves to the Mount of Crucifix. This is ugly. Now they're in a clinch. Benavidez gets back up. No surprise there. Beat down attempt late, and it's good. 15 seconds remain in the round. Guillotine attempt! Wow, that was close. Awesome, your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. from that last round. Oh! This could be it! Body kick, look at that! Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to the feet now. How about that shin? Oh, excellent exchange there. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Constantly a moving oh, target. Oh. Refused to tap and went night-night. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight. And it's over before they even get a chance to tap. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the and official Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Joseph So congratulations to Joseph Benavidez, another tight, clean performance here tonight out of the perennial flyweight contender. Not sure if it'll be enough to earn another shot at the flyweight title, but they are celebrating, and rightfully so, after another